Today, I want to walk you through how I use ConvertKit as a business coach. I've been using ConvertKit for about three years plus, and I can tell you that it has come on leaps and bounds since I started using it, and it was pretty awesome at the beginning. It is definitely uh, one of my favorite platforms for growing my business. So what is ConvertKit? ConvertKit is a creator marketing platform, and it is an essential part of running my business. I'm going to be jumping behind my laptop in a moment to show you my ConvertKit account and build these things live with you. I'm so excited. So in this video, I'm going to be covering how to create a thank you page inside of your ConvertKit account. The purpose of the thank you page is sort of to wrap up the process, that lead generation process. It also signposts people to let them know that they have uh, indeed uh, subscribed to your email list. They have indeed joined your email list. So your thank you page is absolutely critical in just reinforcing that yes because even though they haven't technically paid for a product it doesn't matter right now in this day and age when you run a business online your name and email is currency all by itself so not only do you want a really good lead magnet or a really uh, you know clear uh, landing page but you need a thank you page that just helps people to to just solidify that yes that they gave to you that decision that they made to be a subscriber on your email list. So once again, through ConvertKit, you can create your thank you page. So let me jump behind my laptop once again and show you how easy it is to create your thank you page and we can even do it together. Let's jump in. Okay, so let's dive into creating your thank you page. So again, ConvertKit has made this very, very seamless. So in order to create your thank you page, all you need to do is click over here to add page. So I'm going to click on add page over here and voila, my thank you page has been created. And what I love about this is that uh, ConvertKit has actually lifted the um, the color code from the main page. So this was my main landing page. If you remember, this was the color that I had changed it to. And it has transferred it because it knows that the two pages need to be seamless. So when somebody lands on this page and they enter their name and their email and click on save your seat, they then land on this page, which shouldn't look different. It ought to look the same. So once again, all I need to do is just add a couple of things. So the first thing to do is add your picture over here. So I would most likely use the same image that I used before, which is this one over here. So that's done. Can you see how easy that was? Add your name here, Pam. Bassa. Uh, make sure that the date has transferred from earlier. I will check that. Um, thank you. Thanks for registering. I might just change that to uh, your spot is saved. It's saved. Here's what to do next. And then down here, I may then add, you know, various things. Perhaps I might add an image. I might add, um, I would definitely be adding a link if I were to do this, uh, you know, if I were doing this for real. So over here, um, I might say, join the masterclass Facebook group. And then below, add a button. Over here, group. And then link that button, link the button um, directly to the Facebook group. So these are just some things that I might add, depending on the type of lead magnet that you have or the way your business is actually structured. So you might not need a button. You might just have a thank you uh, in there uh, for them. Thank you. Your spot is saved. Perhaps that's all you need. Um, you know, for your thank you page. But either way, you want people to um, have a thank you page. You want to signpost them to what's next. Um, you could even say something like, um, the, your next steps will be waiting. You could literally keep it that simple. And, you know, within a matter of minutes, once again, you now have your thank you page and it's that simple. So I hope you got a lot of value from watching this. I want to know any questions that you have. Let me know what marketing platforms are you currently using in your business? Let me know any questions that you have about ConvertKit specifically. And if you want to check out ConvertKit, then I will put a link below this video in the description. Make sure you click that link in order to check it out. What it will do is it will give you a free trial of ConvertKit, which gives you the ability to grow your 
journeys from zero to a thousand subscribers, even before you've begun to pay anything for using ConvertKit. I think that is a pretty good deal. So make sure you click the link in the description of this video to check it out. And finally, if you really liked this video, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Um, it'd be really great to have you. I publish it three times a week and I publish really awesome videos, even if I say so myself, <laughs> about a lot of tools that I use. And of course, to help you to grow your own wildly lucrative business. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell and notification so that you'll be the first to know when I publish next. Now, before you go, don't forget to check out this playlist, which is all about ConvertKit, my favorite creator marketing platform and how to use it to grow your business. So if you want to check that out, go ahead and click on that link before you go. And I'll see you in my next video.